Recently, Apple has released the public beta of El Capitan, the coming OS X 10.11 version that will be released in the fall. In this video, I'm going to test for you uh, El Capitan on a virtual machine realized with VMware Fusion. Let's start analyzing some Safari functionalities. One functionality that's been added is the possibility of been in a frequently visited website to Safari. In fact, if you right click a particular tab, you can choose Pin Tab. As you see, a small icon is shown on the left. If you click that icon, you can quickly be brought to the website you want. El Capitan finally solves an annoying problem that may occur when you have several open tabs and you search the web. In fact, it may sometimes happen that while you're browsing the internet, one of your tabs starts suddenly playing a sound, but you can understand which tab is doing that, and you hear the sound coming from nowhere, and this annoys the hell out of you. Luckily, there's a quick fix in El Capitan. In fact, for last season, as you you'll notice that standing on the rankings. When I start playing this video, Safari yeah, yeah, splash. Oh. Oh, shit. this icon that allows me to mute the audio for that single tab. This comes in pretty handy. And it's a very important solution to an annoying problem. About system features, an important one is the so called split view. Now, in Mission Control, if we open up a desktop and we have an application full screen, we can open another application in full screen and add it to the desktop where we just place the other application like dragging and dropping a plus sign appears and you'll see that we have the so-called split view so we have both windows in full screen new functionalities have been added to notes in fact it's now possible to format the text by changing the font and adding stuff like headings and styles and stuff like that. Or like bullet lists and number lists. A cool thing is the possibility that's now given to drag and drop something like images, uh, PDF files, and other files to your notes, a little bit like Evernote. This is pretty cool. In a previous post, I had anticipated that OS X or Capitan would see the introduction of Spotlight as a proper search engine, and that's what in fact happened with this new version of OS X. In fact, we can now use it as Google, uh, for example, looking for something like this, or we can look for specific emails. For example, I can look for emails received from this website. These are probably the most important functionalities introduced by OS X or Capitan. We'll see what next month will bring. In the meantime, I already have to install an update to correct some issues related to 32-bit applications. So I think we can stop the video here. Now and I'll come with updates in next month until the new official version will be released. 
See you guys. Have a good one.